Okay, so in this particular lecture, I'll talk about how you can create and connect your instance using your serial ports. So in the previous lectures, you had connected to your instances using your SSH terminal, but this is going to be a little different. So in this particular series, you're going to connect using your serial port. So let's see how we can do that. The first thing we'll do is we'll create an instance. And let's just make it an E2 micro. And let's click on create. Let's leave, let's leave everything as default. Okay, so our instance has been created. So let's open this instance. And what we need to do is we need to connect to the serial console. However, you can see that it is currently disabled. Now to enable it, you can just click on edit. And you can just, and after you take this, you also need to add the user and the password. So to do that, you need to go to your metadata. So in your custom metadata, you need to add a startup script. So let's see how this is done. So let's go look at the documentation. So if you go down, you can see that you need to add this particular startup script. So let's copy this and let's paste our user and password. So here you can see that I've copied this and I've added the user as Rohit and the password as test123. So let's copy this particular text, paste it, and the name of the key should be startup script. So let's just add this and let's save. And we also need to rerun this. So let's click on save. So what you need to do is you need to stop and restart this particular instance. So let's stop this. And let's start it again. Click on start. So now let's click on connect to serial console. So here you can see all the boot up information is being loaded. And then it'll ask you for a login. So let's log in using our user. So the user is Rohit and the password is test one, two, three. And here you can see all the boot information as well. Okay, so I've logged into my instance. So this is one way in which you can actually log into your instance without having to SSH. So, or if there is any debugging or port issues, then you can log in using your serial port instead of using the SSH. So I hope this was a useful lecture. Now this particular documentation, I will send in the link below. So this will tell you all other information related to how you can connect using the serial port. And one final thing is you can actually look at all the logs. So you can just go back to your instance and you can click on the serial port one log. So if you just open this, Here it will tell you all the logs. It will also tell you all the commands that you've run. So for example, if I go back to my console and if I run, let's say a PWD or an LS. So if you go back to your console here and let's just refresh this. So you can see that all your logs are reflected here as well. So that's one final thing that I would want you guys to no. So that's it for this lecture. I hope this was useful. I will see you in the next.